Hello to Friday at Southampton Boat Show. I'm gonna do one take to show you a walkthrough of some of the key boats on display here that are relevant to our market. So, let's start. We're on the grandstand. This is from Wills Marine, who are the distributors for Grand in the UK, based in Kingsbridge in Devon. Let's start with this uh, six meter drive. Now this is an awesome uh, family boat that you can tow behind your car easily with a Yamaha 130. Retails around about 65 grand. Has a T-top on it with uh, your wakeboard and you've also got a really cool Fusion stereo and Garmin uh, kit on board. Two little Garmin screens. So it's quite nice for the little size of boat that it is. They have a wide variety of boats here on display to cater for your need, whether it's something like an eight meter or down to the sort of three and a half, four meter segment. I do really like this five meter with the Yamaha VMAX outboard. This is the, the 115. This I think is probably the only outboard here at the show from the, the Yamaha VMAX range. And uh, this is an awesome high performance little outboard for the five meter. So that's grand. Now, if you're looking to uh, tow a, a, a boat, then uh, you want to kind of head to a couple of different brands that are on display here. You have Extreme Traders, you have SBS, and you also have Van Class. I use a Van Class. I love it. It's an awesome bit of kit. So let's go and check out the uh, trailer manufacturer and uh, learn a little bit more. So what makes Van Class so special is the fact that it's stainless steel. It's not uh, galvanized alley, and uh, it's a really nice, well-made trailer. You also have your LED light board that's submersible, so it's a little bit easier when you are dunking your boat in terms of your setup and breakdown before having to uh, launch your boat. So really nice, easy, turbo trailers that are really nicely well-made. Okay, so. We're going to head down towards what is traditionally sort of Rib Alley, where uh, you have a lot of the different exhibitors that uh, are different rib brands. So we obviously have Grand here. We're past some sort of lifestyle brands and the different tents. And then we're going to head past Regal and we're going to check out a new boat from Zodiac. Now Zodiac are um, in the UK, distributed by EP Barris and they launched a new Zodiac Medline. That Medline is powered by a 200 horsepower uh, V6 Mercury outboard, and it's a really cool little boat. So we'll go and check that out as we pass, who I just mentioned, Extreme Trailers, a UK uh, trailer brand. Go and check them out also if you're looking for a new um, trailer for your boat. We're passing Quicksilver, again, another brand that's uh, marketed in the UK by EP Barris has Mercury Power again, a really nice range of uh, sports boats and weekend little cruisers. Jump onto that Zodiac stand and I'll show you a little bit about the Medline. So this is a new Medline that was launched at the show a few hours ago. And um, I'll give you a little walkthrough of this boat. So. One thing that you notice is that it's got really nice upholstery. It has a uh, flip style helm. So you've got a really nice driving position and it has a little Simrad uh, Go navigation screen as well. You've got nice protection, nice big grab rail, and then you've got a really deep U-shaped sofa here, which gives you lots of really nice protection as for your family. You've got a really good locker in here that also is deep enough to house your wakeboards and, and your different uh, water sports toys. So, really nice boat. Let's carry on with our tour. Full videos on all of these different boats will be uploaded. So if you want a little bit more detail on these different crafts, then check out the, the videos in more detail. So Zodiac have a range of sort of four to um, seven, eight meter craft. So you can uh, check out anything from the Zodiac lineup. Now, if you're thinking ribs at Southampton Boat Show, then of course Brig have a really cool big stand. Come and check out the Brig. 
So you're met first with the Brig Eagle 10. This is powered by two 350 horsepower outboards, the duo prop motors that have loads of torque. Come and have a quick look at this boat. So you have accommodation in the console. You have a really nice driver position with a big Garmin plotter. And if we jump up on, you can see that uh, you have a really nice sofa with a walkthrough transom, big bathing platforms, and then this console you can really eat miles behind. It's really nice and well protected. Big GPS, substantial T-top, loads of wind protection because you have a lip on the windscreen here. Your hand controls, everything are where they need to be. It's a really nice, comfortable boat to go long distance. Let's crack on with the rest of the brig stand. So Brig are based in Devon uh, with Wolf Rock, who are the UK distributor, and they have a range of different boats here to suit different budgets and different style and uses. The Navigator is one of my favourite. This is a craft that um, has been rigged in this particular setup with another 350 Suzuki, but with this really cool T-top and with a paddle board on top, especially in this colourway, it looks really smart. And it's about 90 grand for this boat in its spec with its sea, um, sea decking and everything else looking on really, really smart with two Garmin screens. And again, that really nice comfortable hull position, really big screen and a decent Suzuki powering it. So loads of torque. So for 90K, that's a really nice setup. Now a big known brand in the UK, especially in the commercial market, and if you've been coming to Southampton Boat Show for a long time, you're going to know of Barnet Marine. Now Barnet used to um, supply tornado ribs and then they went to excess ribs. Now this is an eight and a half meter excess, again powered by another Suzuki, by Lawrence Locke and Barnet Marine. And if you're looking for a, a fishing craft or um, a, a, a vessel that's for dive use or utilitarian family use, then excess are where you need to be. Really good bow, loads of recovery in the nose, substantial hull design, really cool suspension seats by Seashore, decent sized Suzuki, and an all weather console. It's a really good, well made craft, and Lawrence has been doing the boat shows forever. So <laughs> he's really used to being able to look after your needs and tailor a boat to your specification. So as we go down what used to be called Rib Alley, we're met by SBS trailers. So Andy and his team in Birmingham make uh, British uh, trailers for all kinds of different boats, whether it be a jet ski right up to a, a big eight, nine meter rib. They're the standard spec for many different manufacturers in the UK and they're renowned for high quality British Birmingham built uh, trailers. So if you have a, a towing requirement, go and speak to Andy and his team and they'll really look after you. As we continue on down, we have the DRP with uh, the Sea Doos, we have the um, ski boats and wakeboard craft, and then we also have a new engine by EP Barris. Barris did the launch of their Mercury 600 V12. This V12 is very different to the rest of the outboard market where this stays bolted to the transom and it's only the lower unit that then rotates, which makes it a really revolutionary craft, for especially the big boat market. Moving on, we have the Mercury 450 and a 300R. These are engines that are really close to my heart. They have a Sportsmaster gear casing, Mercury vessel view, and with the UK guys, they pair this with Simrad, which then has the vessel view overlay to see map and everything else that you can have on display. We'll go and check that out now on the stand. So as you've seen on our Axopart 28 with our Mercury 300 V8, we run Simrad 
and Mercury are partnered with Simrad to bring you Vessel View. So you can pick any one of these, whether it be a Go or an NSS, or even the larger stuff like our glass helm, and you can then overlay your engine data really, really easily, and it gives you all the data that you need. Let's carry on with the rest of the show. If you're looking for a yacht tender, maybe for your princess or your fun seeker, then Williams is the brand that you're gonna to need to check out. British built, loads of pedigree, and really, really well made. If you're looking for something that wants to go into your garage, they are specialists in making sure that it fits superbly. Now, you may want a sports boat, but something with a really bit, bit of style. So, Cormate are from Norway. They were founded by a bunch of powerboat racers, and they're really high performance, beautiful craft. Let me show you one thing that's unique with the Cormate, and that is the fact that you have a really decent helm unit. This keeps you really secure at speed and really safe. And also for your family, you've got really good deep gunnels here that's gonna keep you well protected. So, let's carry on. As you continue down the aisle, you're gonna be met by Sunseeker and you're also going to be met my MCC Marine. These guys are uh, handball based and they represent a couple of different brands. One of their brands are these guys that produce these really cool little yacht tenders. They're outball powered by Suzuki and uh, a really nice family business at MCC Marine with uh, the McCarthy's and yeah, a great little quality product for the money. So come and check out these guys. Now, as we've mentioned a few times, we have Suzuki. Now they're coming up and we're gonna walk up and show you their stand. We've mentioned them a few times because they seem to be on every boat here so far. It's a really high quality product. So let's show you the Suzuki stand. Obviously Suzuki make cars and in this show, they have the Suzuki Jimny coffee machine. So they have a coffee ran out the back of the Suzuki Jimny. So if you are a bit thirsty and wanting a bit of refreshment, go and check out the Suzuki stand. They have a range of different outboards on display, um, all with the latest technology from Suzuki. So come and check these guys out. Now, are you somebody that's maybe a Land Rover enthusiast? Maybe you like the Defender. Well, Twisted, are a car brand that take the Defender and pimp it up. Not only do they pimp it up, but they put bigger power in and rebuild the whole machine to bring the old Defender into 2021. Not only have they done that, but Charles has then taken the, the concept of Twisted in the automotive sector and created Twisted Marine in partnership with uh, Cobra in this edition and taken on a Nautique and put the twisted touch to the Nautique. So come and check out that. It's powered by two Mercury V6 outboards. I've driven the Nautique standard Cobra version of that hull and it's an absolute weapon with that power. So if you're looking for a high performance, beautiful British uh, made product, then go and check out Cobra. They are one of the oldest rib brands in the country. I think bar Humber, they pretty much are. So, we're now gonna head down to the water and I'm gonna show you some of the craft on display there. Go past the princess stand and head down onto the gangway. And in one take, we'll show you all the different boats that are on display here. So, we were talking Cobra, they're just up here to our right and we have a couple of different uh, boats here on display. So first off we have Yamarin, powered by Yamaha outboard motors, 
they are a uh, fantastic sports boat, day boat manufacturer and uh, have a, a variety of different boats on display. You then have some different craft here from Ideal Boat. This is Finmaster and Finmaster are a fantastic uh, brand that are very, very well built and uh, will last a long time. To our left we have Sea Ray, obviously a big American brand. Well made ski boats, family day boats, etc. Looking to our spin the camera around. <laughs> Looking to our right here. From Idle Boat, we're still continuing on our Fin Master. The Pilot 6 is a really nice little cuddy six meter wheelhouse. And then you have from EXO the Discover and the Defender. These are really well-made craft from Finland. If you have a look at the Defender, you'll see that the quality and the attention to detail is really superb. Powered by two Mercury outboards, this is a really good high-performance boat and is uh, really going to look after you at sea. Continuing on around Ideal Boat Stand. <laughs> Continuing on around Ideal Boat Stand, you have their Saxdor display. So they have the Saxdor 320 and this is the UK debut of the wheelhouse version of their 32 that was launched a few months ago which has the uh, T-top with twin outboard engines and then they have their wheelhouse version. Very smart boat, worth coming and checking out. Then you have Ultimate Boatworks. This is a brand that has a lot of R&D put into it powered by two Suzuki 350s. This is an absolute beast of a vessel. And uh, again, powered by the, that duo prop outboard. Huge amount of space inside this commercial wheelhouse. If you're looking for something maybe to service wind farms and all that type of jazz, then this is the type of craft for you. We were talking Cobra. We have two Nautiques on display. If you're interested in the Cobra, talk to Josh and his team. I'm sure they'll take you out for a spin. We then have Aqua Spirit. Uh, this is a new brand to the UK, really, relatively new. And uh, these are sort of five and a half meter craft, start around about 35 grand. Okay. So worth checking out. Obviously, one of the oldest brands in the business, Ribcraft, based in Yeovil. Jason and the rest of the team build really, really cool uh, go anywhere ribs. In fact, when I was 12 years old, I took a 4.8 rib craft around Britain for 10 days doing a, a huge amount of distance in such a little boat. They build now craft of all different types of shapes and size for police, military, uh, different governments, and even just personal use. And if you're looking for a go anywhere rib that's gonna really look after you, then these are the type of craft Okay, so we're going to head now down to the rest of the walkway and show you some of the other craft on display. We have our Axopar 28 on display. Um, it's part of our adventure lineup. Myself and Aaron behind the camera has been uh, creating different content throughout the summer, using the boat to uh, showcase adventure and different types of boating. We've got it on display. We brought it 150 miles from Plymouth and it is uh, on its berth, so we'll go and check that out in a little while. But in the meantime, we want to show you just a little bit more about this Exo Defender, because this is a really, really cool vessel. It's very different for the UK market. If you check out some of the features here, you've got a really big Simrad, you've got suspension seats, you've got a little cabin forward, got a really nice enclosed entertainment space aft. Powered by two 225 Mercury V6s, this is going to be a really good performer. So, let's head down because I'm going to show you some different boats. We have Parker that are here, we have Axopar, we have the XO that we've seen. We also have 
some new boats to the UK that you may have not seen. Dromaeus being one of them. We also have um, a, a couple of different new brands that there's a particular boat that's about 150 grand that is absolutely stunning and looks like it should be twice the money. So we'll show you that in a second. If you've seen our Nimbus T11 review, the Nimbus T11 is on display with offshore power boats and that is powered by two Mercury 300 V8 Verados. And how I describe in the test video is it's like the uh, gentleman's GT of the boat world. It's obviously uh, a large craft, big beam, loads of entertainment space, really nice forward cabin, and loads of entertainment space in the back that spins around. So we'll show you that in a second. If you're looking for something very different, then you can always get yourself a little amphibious car. Look at them, they're beautiful. They're really cool. So, we're going to head down. We're now heading towards Cockwells, which are based just outside Falmouth. And uh, are a fantastic traditional uh, yacht tender builder and launch uh, craft manufacturer. And they design them all in-house, build them all in-house, have loads of pedigree. So we'll show you that in a second. One vessel that I wanted to show you was the Swallow. This is a really beautiful boat, very, very well made, about 150,000 pounds, and is uh, rigged with a Simrad, and it's got that sort of classic line, and that sort of classic sports boat design of the sort of 60s but with modern building techniques, and it's a really, really nice craft. So, let's carry on. We're now gonna head towards Parker. You've got the Monaco, which is a, a really decent size um, vessel for um, entertaining all your family and your friends. The difference, though, is that Parker decided to run Mercury 300 V8 outboards, rather than having the inboards. The advantage on this is that they have a lot more entertainment space. So, if you come and have a look on board here, by eliminating the engine room, you have not only a huge amount of storage aft and with the outboards, but you've also got loads of fantastic space here. So this is a really cool boat to come and check out if you're looking for that sort of larger vessel to go anywhere but have the practicality that outboards give you. And also something with a much larger aft space for entertaining with all, all of your family. Parker have a really decent display. They do at every boat show. So you can see the whole lineup here of different Parkers on display to suit budgets and requirements. We're going to head down now towards Nimbus, Axapar, Targa, Sargo, and a few others to show you some different craft on display here at Southampton. This really does cater for any type of boat that you're kind of looking for to either get started boating or to upgrade or to go further afield depending on your type of boating. So let's start off. We are at Nimbus. We have the 365C this particular really nice classic style looking boat. We also have the Nimbus W9, which is powered by a 300 V8. That gives you loads of really cool protection inside as well. And then you have the, the big daddy, the Nimbus T11, powered by two 300 horsepower V8 outboards. If you step on board, I will show you some of the features on this craft that I really like. So you've got really cool, bathing platforms on both sides and then Aaron if you jump on you have an entertainment area here that is quite modular so in this setup it's like this but this these also spin around I'm not gonna do them right away because obviously they're set up in their sales configuration but they can spin and offer different seating configurations as you go the helm position if you come up and have a look Again, you're going to eat miles in here. You've got two Simrad big screens. You've got the uh, helm station here is just really comfortable. 
everything's really accessible, really easy to navigate, and you've got uh, a fantastic visibility all around this boat. You've got great overnight accommodation too, and if you want the full test on this boat, then uh, we've uploaded it to our Facebook already, so you can have a look around this Nimbus T11. To my right, you have my boat, the Axopar 28, the PBR adventure vessel. This is uh, our craft that we have used over 100 hours so far this season as at Powerboat and Rib Magazine, um, putting it through its paces through all kinds of different conditions, and it's got all of our adventure kit on board. So we will show you probably from this pontoon so we don't interfere with the sales team. You obviously, most of you have seen our 28, and if you're interested in Axopar, then come down, speak to uh, Steve Lane of Offshore Power Boats or the rest of the Axopar team here, and you can have a look around this craft. We have the Simrad glass helm built into our craft with the Mercury 300 V8 with a load of big Simrad gear. This is fully spec to how I use the boat for our adventure content. So if you're interested in that, speak to Steve and the rest of the team here and uh, they'll really look after you. Let's carry on. So talking all things Axopar, you have the 37 cross cabin. This is powered by two 350 L6 Mercury Verados. Has an aft cabin, is an absolute beast of a boat. Uh, has the roof bars on top, the Brabus pack and is a really, really smart vessel. So if you're interested in something Axopar, then they've got the two vessels there. Not forgetting, just hiding is a 22, the one that Aaron and I went to Finland to do the reveal on. So Aaron was wakeboarding behind the, that little boat and it's an awesome little 22 foot package. One boat that's really impressed me is the E26 Rider by Cranky. This is a 140 grand boat and for the money, this really is very stylish and very well made. We have a really decent A-frame here, loads of entertainment space with an infill that can go in here as well. You also have a really nice deep helm position with a really nice wraparound console and then a sort of bow rider, open bow at the front. Really nice stylish boat with this lovely wide upholstery, looks really smart. Now talking about go anywhere craft, Targa has got to be one of the brands that you're going to mention, which is the Targa 46 here, the 37, 32, and you also have the 27. And the 27 is slightly different because we now have outboard power with the Mercury 300 Verados, which is going to give you loads of storage aft, but also give you all the wonderful features that Targa are known for. And these are really 4x4s of the sea, they'll go anywhere. A slightly different version uh, or competitor to Targa is going to be Sargo, which is to our left. So if we spin the camera around, we're going to have a look at the Sargo 28. We've got a couple of different crafts here, the 31 and the 28. If you come down here so that we're out of the sales team's way. This one is powered by a D6 and um, they can have around about 40 knots out of the top spec engine. This one runs around about 30, but it's a really, really nice craft with lots of uh, beautiful features, very, very high spec, all hand built, go anywhere vessel. I really like the upholstery as well on the grab rail. Also just to our side here, we have the Nordstar. We've just done a test on this. We're going to be launching the video very, very soon. It's uh, represented here by MCC Marine. Keep this going. This is a, a craft that you can read up where it's on the front cover of Powerboat and Rib Magazine. You've got a fantastic space inside for entertaining and looking after your guests. You've got um, overnight accommodation forward and aft. Really nice space out the back here. So this is definitely a boat to come and check out at the boat show. We're going to carry on and I'm going to show you a different craft that is relatively new to the UK. So a high performance brand at the show is Hydrolift. The founders are ex-powerboat racers and you can really tell that in the hull design. It's a really well-made Nordic style craft with the 
Mercury 300 V8, but they also do these with 450Rs, twin installations as well. Some of these boats crack 60, 70 knots. They are a very, very quick brand. Then you have Dromaeus. This particular boat is owned by a friend of mine, Will Yeoman in Sandbanks, and it's a really, really nicely well-made boat. We're gonna be doing a, a full test very soon. Another boat to check out at the show is Moonraker. Moonraker are very angular and a, a pretty cool, entertaining boat. This particular one is the D28 and offers you loads of entertainment space on board. So if you're looking for this type of craft, this is definitely something to check out. Come on here and have a look. So you have this beautiful stitching, really nice upholstery, high quality build with this really nice big entertainment space. So for your family or for yacht tender work, etc., this is gonna be something that's really, really superb. The other D28 has a T-top and a center console yeah. design to the thing. So I hope that you've really enjoyed this afternoon's quick run through of some of the key boats at the show. We haven't included everybody, so if we've missed somebody, we're really sorry but we're just doing a quick run through of some of the key boats here.